this Vivace top and remember this Well, put them together, take a Vivace top and take the other fabric, but change the colour of the other fabric and you get this. This is a Vivace top, which uh, I like that fabric. The other fabric was kind of a bit iffy. I still wear that green top, but I thought, oh, I've got some purple dye, so let's try dyeing it. So here it is, the purple Vivace top. Do you recognise this fabric? Yeah, this was the green fabric. So, this is the green fabric that I've dyed purple. I've also dyed another piece of fabric purple and I'll show you which one it is. It's this one. This was black and white and I had an awful lot of black and white so I figured I might dye this purple and then I could make something out of that. And as you know, purple is a good colour to have with grey hair so I figured I would do I'd wear purple, make it with purple. And so, what I'm going to quickly do is, um, this is a Vivace top, so this is Vivace the second. I've teamed it with a little triangular button there. Uh, I've, I've got lots of these odd buttons in my, um, I've got a hair there. Hang on, get rid of that hair. I can't get all of it. It's, I've put a little triangular button there. Oh, this little starfish, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this to you, but a customer of mine, I do plates for him, and he does, um, what does he do? He does, uh, he does resin, he does moulds of deep sea divers. He used to be in the Navy, and he does resin moulds. And one day he said to me, uh, I'll make you something. And I said, will you? And he said, yeah, he says, I'll make you something. He said, uh, what do you like, what, what, what sea animal do you like? Oh, what's, yes, what sea animal do you like? And I said, sea animal? Oh, and I think he thought I was going to say something like dolphin. But I said, starfish. And he went, starfish? And I said, yeah, I like starfish. I said, it's nice. I like the shape of a starfish. So he says, I'll send you one. So he sent me this little, little starfish that he made. It was actually, it actually plated at gold, but the plating's coming off and it's solid silver now. But it's a lovely little thing. I'm very pleased with it. So I found a necklace, a chain that I had, and I put it on. So that's my starfish. Anyway, um, so this Vivace top, I'm very pleased with it. I have kept the sleeves, the cuffs of the sleeves, uh, the same as the fabric there, but I've added a black V to it. And now I'm going to show you some of the fabrics that I've bought again. This was a few weeks back, but I haven't had a chance to do it. Uh, a fabric that I bought through Jenny Flake from you. You've already seen one batch. This is a second batch. The first one I have is this, which is um, blue and white flowers. And I, I'm hoping it might work, but I've actually started a fuller cardigan. And the fuller cardigan that I've started was, um, it was using a white fabric piece that I got from Minerva Crafts. I don't know if you remember, I got some funny coloured, I got a white and a dark green. And I ended up making a nice dark green top from, from the dark green. I got some psychedelic yellow and some psychedelic fluorescent or green. And this, and I got a white as well. And the white, I thought, oh, I might make a fuller cardigan with it. But I've been a bit, it was only a metre that I had. And the fuller cardigan was quite restricted, so I couldn't get the facings in. I didn't have enough fabric to get the facings and the sleeves are again pieced and they're three quarter length they go to about there which I didn't mind because I thought it could be a summer jacket but it felt I, I need because I haven't got the fabric for facings I was trying to decide what I could face it with and I wondered if I might just do it so it's reversible and have that on the inside but the reason the query might be I have to decide to see whether that color the back of that color will show through on the white of the other jacket so we'll just have to wait and see I'll, I'll try it and see failing that um i might just make a top with it get a nice part where the blue pattern is in the middle somewhere there and make a top with it you know there's nothing wrong with the fabric it's just, it's just the not not entirely my choice but there was another one that when it came 
because I just said to, to Jenny, I said, just send me what you want to give, you know, just get what you want and send it to me. And she sent another one. And when I got it, I thought, oh, I don't know if I like that. But when I, I decided the other day I'd make it up and it was this colour. Now this is what's left, this is the leftover of it. I'm going to make a colour with this. But this is what was left over. And when I made it, I actually thought, actually that looks nice. The, the, the garment that I made actually looks lovely. So I'll show you that later on to let you see what it looks like. So that was, it, and that's um, a cotton jersey as well. It's, it's a, the, the yellow really jumps out it's a lovely color and the blue there's a, a you know a lot of shades of blue there so they look nice then she she had told you no browns <laughs> so you gave her browns and this is one of the browns that she got which actually i don't mind it's it's like a leopard skin a leopard type of thing um not a bad color not bad don't know whether it goes with grey hair, but I'm a bother. Do I care? It's uh, cheap fabric and it'll make something out of it. Even if it goes to making pyjamas. Wouldn't I have never, never worn leopard skin pyjamas to bed before? So it'll be quite interesting if I do. But yes, I like that. There is a little fault I've noticed across there. little line there. But as I say, if I'm making pyjamas out of it, they won't matter. Um so that's one that's that one then uh, the next one is another one like that so that was why i've got an awful lot of that so that was why i figured that if i do purple then i could do a contrast or i could decide on what else you know i did try and design something that either incorporates the two or do two separate ones so i've got that and this is quite a lot there's a good bit of length there i think there's probably a couple uh, there's quite a lot that's a four one probably a couple of meters now um i've just noticed there's some marks on it but that that could create quite a nice garment there are a couple of marks just at the end there i don't know if you can see the brown marks but um i've she's washed it so i think they are they may be in to stay but it's right at the end so it won't matter but i can get a nice i may even get a dress out of this because there's such a lot there for my short body seeing as i'm five foot one so um yeah so that's the next one and um the next one was another brown and this is slightly different color brown to that one let me just show you there brown this is more of a, a coffee brown i would call it a coffee color and uh, again almost two meters here this is doubled so there's the same on the other side so a brown leopard type of effect it would go this way really wouldn't it, it would, that would be the normal fall of it crossways which you shouldn't wear when you when you're overweight or when you're not when when you're a large lady you should always wear them going downwards rather than the crossways whether i will keep that color or whether i will dye it i don't know but it is nice i like the pattern on it i'm just not overly sure about the color because normally i would say it's not normally my color but you never know when you know like i've made that flowery one i might find that actually it's nicer than i thought it was so that's that one and beggars can't be choosers you know i should be thankful for getting these such cheap fabrics the next one is this one which is um this is a multicolored one it's very nice i like that um there's about a meter and a half of it no maybe some no, yeah about a meter and a bit and doubled again so i'll get a nice top out of that one again at first when i first saw it, i thought oh i don't know if i like that but actually I, you know once it's made up it might look quite nice it should look quite nice the background is a beige color and if you know the worst comes to worst the dye pot will come out again <laughs> no i do like that i like the yellow on there I like that yellow and the black uh, i think it's the beige that's just not hitting me properly but you never know anyway my battery looks like it's going to go run out so i'll just quickly show you the other ones this is another one this is beautiful this this is a, a floral one 
and there's a quite a length here good I think two meters so I'll get a nice dress out of that and then the next one is this I like this one this is my this is really nice this is uh, an army green color I'm keeping an eye on that battery because it looks like it's going to go out an army green and that's that one it's lovely that very nice and lastly this one which is kind of very 60s 70s Mary Quantish color where it's the uh, the half circles again it's not exactly white it's like an off-white and there is probably two meters there this is double there's that double because if you can see there right to there in fact so much is more than two meters I think so she's been very generous again so that is the fabric from year the second dose there is a website that sells cheapish fabric on eBay in the UK and what I will do is I'll put a link up down there I'll put a link down there to that website what the quality of the fabric is like I don't know but it is quite cheap so it's worth having a look at it to see what the what the fabric is like um, they do do f kind of stuff like this that's fleecy back but it looks like it's very thin so as I say check it out and you'll you'll be able to see there may become a shortage of fabric because obviously a lot of this fabric comes from India and because coronavirus they're they you know they're not working not they're, they're not making these things so hold on to your fabric for as long as you can ladies because it might not be around these fabric shops may be able to take a great advantage of this because of uh, there may be a shortage so that's my fabric haul for you very quick because this camera is still flashing and any minute now it will probably cut out um so it's now half past nine in the morning his lordship has gone to do the shopping he wanted to go he's put his blue surgical gloves on <laughs> Funnily enough, I bought these a box. I bought a pack of a hundred surgical gloves about uh, four, four or five months ago. With for just for because I often wear gloves. You know how my hands go dry, and I thought I'd buy these gloves just for for going around the cleaning things, uh, the kitchen and the bathroom and everything. And I haven't. I hadn't even used very many of them. And of course, when he heard I had a pack of gloves, he went, "Whoa, yeah, I'll use them to go shopping." So he's thrilled a bit. He's got his blue gloves on and he's gone shopping. I when he always does the shopping I must add because he's with he with him being the cook he likes to plan the meals and when we go shopping I'm like a little Indian woman that follows behind and every now and again I pick something off the shelf and put it in a basket or I let and I'll and he'll say what are you getting that for and I'm going because I want it I put a little button here it's been washed hasn't uh hasn't done too badly when it was washed let me get that in the center there that's it um i'll just quickly put it on because i was wearing another top the other top i've just been wearing is another top that i dyed which was pink originally and uh it was this one i made two garments out of this fabric i didn't like it in the pink so i re-dyed it and this was the other one that i was wearing and that pattern is the one i made a year or two back and it was this one the uh, Buttrick B5954 the one I did on that one was this one I do like this one I put pockets in it so anyway you're seeing me in this purple one and uh, yes I like it not too sure about exposed sleeves but you know it's not too bad can't complain about it I'm very pleased um, so you haven't seen much of me lately and the reason is this cupboard under the stairs <laughs> oh dear me the cupboard under the stairs in the cupboard under the stairs <laughs> he was telling you that there was a cds well there was everything in that cupboard under the stairs there is about 20 years of stuff that we've accumulated not just from us but when my mum and dad died we had to clear their house out and there was lots and lots of photographs that were theirs and um, well my mum and dad when they died they were in uh, they'd lived in the same house for 
seven sixty odd years so we had to clear all that out and I got I was the one that was in charge of the photos everybody said you take the photos Michelle and you deal with them so I took the photos and every now and again I've got them out and taken a picture of them and then sent them round on our whatsapp group to let them all see them and I thought well like that they've all got copies of them and so anyway we emptied all this <laughs> this cupboard under the stairs out and it was full of everything He's doing the CDs and then he found some photographs from his side of the family so he's doing the same thing and sending off pictures of him and the kids and letting them see what they, what they were like when they were little and I'm doing the same thing to my family I'm sending them to my son and daughter and uh, and every now and again I've come across some of the ones that belong to my, that, that show my sister and my brother-in-law my bro my sister and my brother and their children and which is a bit more nostalgic because my brother has a son who died at 32 my sister has a daughter who died at 32 not in the, at the same time one year after each other and so if we keep finding another photograph that they've never seen or that, that they haven't seen for a long time and I put it up they go oh I haven't seen that one it's lovely so it's a touch of nostalgia as well for them um so we've been doing that and of course oh, I just got carried away and also I found there was a we had a sort of shelf unit in there uh, it was like a, a bookcase type shelf thing and I said oh that'd be quite nice if we took that out and put it into the conservatory and then I we could keep all the all the bits and pieces up for, for the business there so we took everything off there and of course it was a lot of it was my stuff I it was fabric that I had it was lots of other things and um so we've cleared it just looks like pigsty at the moment in the sitting room because we just emptied everything in the sitting room and said right I said to him, I said, look, this is going to take us two or three days to go through. So we're just going to have the patience that this is going to look like a big sty for a while. So anyway, we're, we're gradually working our way through it. It's taking a while and he's uplisting things onto eBay. And he keeps putting things up and saying, right, I'm going to sell this. And there it goes. And he's chuffed. I've sold it. I've made 50 pence. But it was just to get rid of it all. It's really got too much. Um, and so that's been taking a bit of our time. The weather isn't very nice. Uh, it does make you feel a bit more miserable. Although I'm, I have to say, I'm still feeling quite cheery. I'm not too upset about you know not being out. Ah, I forgot to tell you what day it is, didn't I? Today is. Is it a Tuesday or is it a Wednesday? Today is Wednesday now, and some Angela said. Why don't you look at your watch? Look at your Apple Watch. And I said, Angela, I'd love it if it was an Apple Watch. Mine's just a cheap one. And when I'm out in the sunshine, I can't, even though it lights up, I can't see a darn thing. It is Wednesday the 29th of April. And uh, it's been raining more or less. Well, it's just started raining today. First bit of rain we've had. But it's been a bit miserable for Monday and Tuesday. And uh, I think we're going to get the same for the rest of the week. I keep thinking, oh God, with this weather, nobody, parents will not be able to go outside with their kids so they'll be driving them up the wall. I've got lots of things I want to say, but I'm going to try and spread them out over several little vlogs because of the, I know you all say you like reading. I know you all say you like getting these vlogs. So I'm trying to spread things over so that I can give you a bit of something as often as possible. I'm kind of doing it every two days rather than every every day but i will if possible once the weather picks up i might i might or once we clear this once we clear this rubbish out of the out of the sitting room and get our life back to normality then i shall be probably be able to do them a bit more often anyway um as i said to you before this is the vivace top i am pleased with it um i'm standing too far away from the camera without my glasses to see whether you can see me. I can see a blur. So I'm assuming you can see me. I vaguely can see my hand moving there. So you might be able to see me to about there. Um, or maybe it's even there. Depends on whether I crop myself. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, so I've been... Because he keeps going mad. He says, another parcel has been delivered. But I have had a couple of lovely deliveries. I've got a few deliveries I want to show you. Uh, in the next one of the other vlogs but these two I'm going to show you today just hang on a second the first one I want to show you is from 
Her name is Cory, and I'm not, do you know, offhand, I can't remember what her Instagram handle is, but she's on Instagram, and she's, I think she's a ceramic artist or a teacher, ceramic teacher, and she often puts things up that she's made and sells them. She's got a little shop that she sells them in, and I just, I happened to be looking, because she, she does these little brooches and, and necklaces and things, and uh, I'll show you, this is her card that she sent me. And that's one of the necklaces that she makes in ceramic there. Uh, I like your card. It's really, really nice. I like your card. Corrie. Is that what you call yourself? Corrie. And it's from Corrie's Fancy Goods at BigCartel.com. As I say, she's on Facebook. If it's a different name, I'll put it up here to let you see what her name is. But um, she does these... She's been doing some nice ones, and there's one of them that I'm quite keen on. I can't remember which one it is now. Uh, but she said she hasn't finished putting them up. But then she put these up, and I just oh, I just had to have them. And I'm going to make them. I'm going to frame them actually, because they are so lovely. This one, they are sewing. Ca they're cards. They're actually cards. I'll take them out of the border to let you see. They are cards for. Um, for birthdays for anything they probably haven't got anything inside I haven't even opened them to see no there's nothing inside but they are really really beautiful look at this I'll bring that up to you to let you see she's got a ceramic a ceramic uh, safety pin fabric she's got a little button that's sewn onto the top of, of the ceramic with a little piece of ribbon there and it says your measurement chart and she's got this here and as I say it's a little card but I really don't just put some some uh, bubble wrap there I don't want to make it into a card nobody's getting this I want this for myself so I'm going to frame this one and the other one that I'm going to frame is this one I, I, I really don't know how she can expect us to send them because post them to anyone because they're so lovely I can't remember how much I paid for them um, but I just felt they were worth worth getting. And this one is something similar. This says, The machine like the stove and table is something to use every day and should be ready and always accessible for two minutes or two hours of stitching. And that one is this one. And it's got the bulldog clip with a, with a string on. She's put buttons on. Those are, are stuck on. You've got fabric here. You've got the black and white pattern there and you've got the saying at the bottom there. It is absolutely lovely. So that one and that one, they will both be adorning my uh, my walls in here once we get this sorted out. We're still, back of here I've just got a, a white sheet stapled to the wall because I, we still have, the, we had a plaster in line to come and plaster the whole of this place. Uh, for at the beginning of March oh no he's going to come at the end of March and of course we all got locked down he hasn't been in touch with me he was a devil of a one to try and get to come in, in the first place and so we are debating whether obviously he couldn't come because it was locked down but he hasn't been in touch with me so I've got a feeling I've been chasing him rather than him chasing me So I think that if we, once lockdown's over, or even before that, we've been debating whether we should do something different with it, whether we should put some kind of panelling down or, or do something. We're, we're going to do something with it, but I think we'll do it ourselves if needs be. So that was the first one, the first pack parcel that came. And this other one came this morning. Now this is fabric that I ordered online. Now I've, And I've got a really good... I've got a, a video that I'm going to show you. I'll probably put it up this week sometime. About AliExpress. About a, a, sh a shop on AliExpress. And this is some fabric. After the, I got this. I ordered this around about the middle of February. Or was it just before New Year? The New the Chinese New Year. I bought, ordered this, and it's a Japanese fabric. And I, I saw this, and I, it's only half a metre, uh, but that's doubled. That's the other side there. And I thought I'd get some, just to see what it looked like. It's really nice. 
it's um what am i going to do with it i don't know i, I was thinking maybe lining it as a bag or making handbags or purses with it or something like that but i do I, I thought that was lovely lovely fabric and it's got gold in it you might not be able to see but it has gold this um the navy blue this navy blue here has gold around it and um the um what are the ones that that's this here has a gold all of it is is, is uh, with gold on it so it really is beautiful that i'll stand back and let you see so that came i mean i ordered it around about february and then of course when the coronavirus thing carried uh, took off uh half of the things that i'd ordered arrived and half of them didn't because they're from different shops and uh, but it, they said they were on their way so i knew they were coming I think I'm still waiting for a couple of other things, but um, I'm, I like that. That arrived this morning. Some of the other things have already arrived, and I shall show you those in another vlog just to spread things out. So I've got this fabric. I've got my cards, which I'm really pleased with. I've got my Vivace top, and for those of you who didn't see the previous one, that's the other one that I did. Notice the difference? That's all put that down that's all the same color whereas this one has the black that teams around it and a little purple button there that was i went through a phase of buying big buttons and i figured you can use a big button anywhere maybe it's on a scarf or um where else did i think of using buttons i, I was thinking on a scarf on a coat i've got one coat there was a bought coat that i got from a second hand shop years and years and years ago and I liked it, but it was it was one of these which was a drape top, and I wanted it so that I could fasten it up. So I put a big button on, and I made a buttonhole, and on the big button I tied it with ribbon, and um, so that when the when the buttonhole went over it, these ribbons and the button draped through and looked lovely. Um, so yes, this is a big button that I found in my box, in my button box, and I've added that to it. Um, I have got some more things that I've been making. I've been making, um, I think I've got one, two, three tops that I'm going to show you in the next few days. Uh, these tops were done in February and March, but I just haven't got around to showing you them. Um, what have I been doing in April? Not a lot of sewing, not a lot of sewing at all. I did make a couple of little things and I shall show you those as well in another video. But um, I haven't really done much. I've kind of, well, we've been, we've been kind of getting paperwork done, sitting outside in the sunshine, doing the garden. And by the way, those plants that I ordered in February, I'm still waiting for. I've also ordered a couple of wooden planters that are coming down from the west of scotland uh we were going to make them ourselves and then we saw this west coast of scotland place made too so we're going to get those we've been painting the table outside but at the moment as i say the weather's not too good so stopping indoors um talking to the children on on whatsapp quiz night on a saturday night it was the daughter's turn and this saturday night coming it's going to be my turn to plan the question so i've really got to think of something that's going to be appropriate we came last as we always expect to because we don't watch many films we they were showing one of the one of the pages one of the quiz questions was uh my daughter did a page full of faces and you had to identify who they were i think we all out of 12 faces we only knew two and we were saying, when we were going through it, they kept, the other ones kept screaming and shouting who they were, or not kept saying who they were, and we're going, who? We've never heard of him or her. Or, but uh, it was quite interesting. We enjoyed it. It was a really good evening. Um, now then, what else do I want to tell you? I don't know if there's anything else I want to tell you at the moment. Um, I'm going to catch you later on or tomorrow and tell you all about what else I've been doing. So till the next time.